The day after I got the procedure done, I was literally like Bella from Twilight, just looking at everything. I was just like, oh my gosh, it's so clear. I can see so clear. Wow, the land of make-believe. It's your girl Shell. If you didn't know, if you are new to my channel, welcome. If you are not new, what's good, y'all? I had the experience of a lifetime. I finally got LASIK surgery after years and years of contemplating about getting it. I finally just up and said, you know what? What's stopping me from getting corrected vision? I am just going to go ahead and get this done so it is currently 9 28 so we're gonna leave here in about an hour because my appointment is where i'm they're doing the procedure at it's about an hour away so i am cleaning my house right now today was supposed to be our cleaning day and then i just got you know an availability of them saying that they would be able to do my procedure today so i figured that i would go ahead and jump on that so i can just ditch these bad boys Hey guys, so we are on our way to my LASIK appointment. We will be there in approximately 57 minutes and it's foggy as hell outside. Didn't realize that the weather was gonna be gloomy like this. So uh, hopefully people drive safe so that we don't you know, get into any traffic on the way there because I need to be there on time. I need to be able to see. What did you say? I need to be free to see because I am so tired of wearing these glasses and you know, having them slip off my face and there are things that I can't do with glasses and then when I take them off, I'm blind as hell. Like, everything, everybody's a blur. I, I'm so excited to be able to see. Like, I'm gonna be able to feel what you feel every morning. You just wake up without a care in the world and you, you're like, you're able to see. Uh, so I have, I've had terrible sight my whole life. I'm just ready to have clear vision. All right, so we just made it to the LASIK Plus, which is where I'm getting my uh, LASIK done it, and I'm about to go inside. He has to wait in here because of COVID and, you know, um, precautions they have to make. He has to stay in here the whole procedure, so I'll see you guys when I get out. I'm excited, but scared at the same time. One hour later. That was the worst experience ever. Really? It, hold on. When they did it, okay, they gave me the numbing drops and it numbed my eyes. I couldn't feel my eyes, so there it felt like there was pressure in my eye socket because there was no like no feeling. And then they brought me in there and they used this machine to like spread my eyes open. And then he had to put like he like had to spread my eyes open and then like push down so that my eyes was like out so that they can do this, the procedure. So it was really uncomfortable because he's like pressing on my eye. And then he had the laser. I can't feel anything, but I can see them like working on like, just think like if you're wearing glasses and then like you're like doing mm -hmm. this, it, that's how he was on my eye. So like my natural reaction is to flinch because he's like by my eye, but I didn't feel anything. And then like, they don't cut. Remember I told you that when Kaylin did it, like they cut her eye to flap it open. Okay, they lasered it open. So I was my eyes was still cut. Mm -hmm. And then they did the laser and then they closed it back. But the smell of the little gas and the laser is what like really did it for me. I feel like I'm about to throw up. It's done though, right? Yeah, it was quick. It was just uncomfortable. It didn't hurt. It was just really uncomfortable and then like I'm still waiting for like blood to like get to my head. So like I feel really really nauseous and like I'm about to like pass out. You need to eat? I, I think I need to eat something and I definitely need to go to sleep. Because they gave they give you um Excedrin PM to make you sleep. Like before mm -hmm. the before the surgery, they give you medicine to already make you sleep. So after the surgery, you can just go home and go to sleep. I mean, it, it was, it, it was just not a, it was an okay experience. Like it wasn't like it was just, surgery. yeah, it was surgery. I mean, it wasn't like it was just like terrible, but nobody wants to get their eye cut. So, but I, he said that my vision will be blurry. Hopefully by tomorrow I'll be able to see clearly, but it's going to be blurry all day and I have to wear these all day. 
Hey guys, Editing Shell here. Um, I wanted to show you guys a clip of exactly what they did to my eyes because I think that it's necessary for anybody who's wanting to get LASIK to actually see exactly what they're doing to your eyes. So I'm going to insert that clip right now. A suction ring or stabilization ring onto the eye. I rotate the bed and the patient's eye under the femtosecond laser, which is an ultra precise laser used to create the LASIK flap. She will then feel a slight bit of pressure during this step of the surgery. For the second part of the surgery, I place a speculum to keep the eyelids open while we're reshaping the cornea. I then fold the flap back onto the corneal surface. The laser packs the pupil in a three-dimensional fashion and then dry the edges to ensure that in fact the flap is well positioned back in place. When I woke up, I expected this to be a brand new world. Like I was just so excited to be able to see clear and it's funny because it's nothing that I've never seen before. Like I was wearing glasses and everything was clear, but now I'm just using my perfect vision to see the beauty and glory of everything now. The surgery itself, I was not expecting to go through what I went through. It wasn't it didn't hurt. The surgery itself didn't hurt whatsoever. It was just extremely uncomfortable because of what they had to do to my eye in order for them to get this procedure done. I do not regret getting this done. It was like the best decision that I've ever made. I just do way too much in my everyday life for me to just be dependent on glasses and contacts because when I run out of contacts, I have to wear glasses and then I work out and I do makeup. I just do way too much for me to be dependent on it. Hey guys, today is the day after that I got my LASIK done and I am so happy with the results. I'm able to see super clear and I haven't been able to feel that in never because I'm always wearing contacts and glasses, but it feels great. My eyes are a little sensitive to light, so that's the reason why I'm in the dark. Um, I'm using window lighting right now, but my eyes are a little sensitive to light, and I wore the sunglasses that you guys saw me wearing um, yesterday on all day. I wore that all day because I just, I felt comfortable with them on. I wore them all day, and I have to put medicated drops in my eyes four times a day and then they also gave me some artificial tears for if my eyes are like extremely dry which they are so I've been putting them in my eyes frequently. The day after I got the procedure done I was literally like Bella from Twilight just looking at everything I was just like oh my gosh it's so clear I can see so clear. So it's been about three days after my procedure has been done and I was told not to rub my eyes of course because the flap on my eye is still healing and of course every time I go to sleep at night it's giving my eyes a chance to really heal and your eyes heal the fastest out of anything on your body so um, just going to sleep every night and just getting extra sleep it really does help speed up the process. They did promise me that if I needed touch-ups because with LASIK your or vision can get weakened if you're looking at computers or looking at your phone for long periods of time and they said that they would do like touch-ups like I don't know in like 10 years maybe because it does last for a great amount of time but I do have a lifetime warranty and I'm able to go and get those touch-ups done if need be. So anyways you guys, I hope that you found this video informative and enjoyed it. If you liked this video, please make sure to hit that thumbs up button. And if you love my content, it's always good to subscribe. So hit that subscribe button and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys!